religious life is a, a love story. It's an opportunity to grow in love with God. It doesn't come from ourselves. It's a divine call from Christ to experience God within the context of silence and solitude and to love Him with all of our heart, mind, soul, and strength. As Carmelites, that silence is indispensable for there to be deeper union with God in regards to a deeper stripping of ourselves in order to find our true selves in Christ. There's a point to each of our lives. There's a point to why we are here. But in order for us to identify that, to discover it, we have to really listen. Listen as, not simply with the ears, but listening as an art of the heart. And in order to hear, to understand and to know ourselves, we have to retreat from the busyness in order to listen to the whisper of something deeper inside of who we are. It is more challenging when there are distractions and noise. And during that time, I didn't have a deep sense of faith. I didn't have a prayer life, really. So my work, I saw it as largely a function of my own achievement, what I could do, what impact I could make. But the work that we can, quote unquote, achieve, the impact we can, quote unquote, make, is only valuable to the extent that we allow God to work through us and that it's driven and informed by grace. Because He's risen, if we unite ourselves to Him as He united Himself to us by taking on our human nature, our flesh, that becomes powerful. He's waiting for us to call upon Him. So if we are bold in our prayer and courageous, truly asking Him and asking Him, to guide us to the specific community or path. Make it clear, Lord. I'm inspired by my brothers. Uh, people are down to earth. Uh, they're comfortable with each other. There's really a brotherhood. Just a mix of friars, old, young, that is a family. We're not alone in it, because that is who we are in our identity, is to be contemplatives be friars in the Carmelite tradition. Then at the same time, we're not meant to be strictly cloistered. We go out. The fact that he's put it on your heart to discern this and consider it is a beautiful invitation to grow in love with him. Take the time for prayer. Take the time for spiritual reading. Be open to the beautiful ways he wants to work through you and let him be himself in you.